Hey guys, I am back with another video. I am super, super late, but forgive me, honey. Today has been a crazy ass day. I don't know. I done my headphone done broke. Then I bought some new headphones. Then I lost one of them on the on the STS bus. The STS came late. STS came at like 4:35 outside of the window i just got home like six o'clock so i had to get my ass in the shower so forgive me if i'm a little bit ashy but whatever nevertheless your girl maisha is back in the motherfucking building with another motherfucking video okay so today's video because i ain't scratched all day i'm gonna show i'm gonna just show y'all what i do when i don't when i haven't scratched all day and i've been sitting down all day Woo, so let me get my ass in this in this butterfly. Ooh, we'll rotate these hips a little bit. Just a little bit different. Usually I like to lay on my back and rotate those hips because it uh, opens everything up. But I found that this one is a bit better. I like this one in yoga when I was taking up yoga and stuff like that. So you pretty much sit in butterfly and you rotate your body, your upper body pretty much. So just pretty much bring it in a circle. I'm gonna rotate it again, so whatever way you go, reverse it as well too. Ooh, wee, I should have got my chair so I can show y'all, but I can um I can improvise, okay? So what I do is, so I know it's a bit different for me, but I normally touch the floor, one leg on the floor, one leg up in the air, and I pretty much bend and scratch scratch in it. So and then I started kicking it back and stuff like that, just so that like that inner that inner part of my hip start opening. So I'm gonna kick it back. Ooh. Ooh. Then I switch that other leg up. You heard that crack? So I pretty much do that. Ooh. I really need that that, that right that right hip because that right hip needs to be the one that be the tightest, honey. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh my previous videos. I know I have been going down from the start of marching and placing things like that. That's another sort of kind of warm up as well too that I do. Um, ooh, dang, everything just popping and stuff like that. That's sort of kind of another warm up. Hopefully y'all enjoyed those videos that I did at the scratch lab. That is one of that is my passion. Okay, then if I haven't said this or emphasized this on the channel, dance is my motherfucking passion so i go hard y'all i go hard i took a break off of the stretch lab so i'll be back in the next two weeks well next week actually next week yeah probably next week saturday and i'll show y'all some more footage because remember every flexologist is different so this is gonna be a quick way that you can do um your stretches you know at least stretch uh so i pretty much do ballet i do first third and fifth position so that I can um, get my daily stretch routine out of the way. So I pretty much do that. I pretty much, if you can't see, I'm pretty much in first position. So if you ever want to know what first position is, um, it's just like a penguin. You know how a penguin open their feet at an angle. Like close your feet and then you open your feet. Not too far to the left, not too far to the right. Just pretty much at like, um, maybe like a 45 degree angle. You, know, you touch the floor. Make sure you hang your head down. That's what I be doing. And then sometimes what I do is I'll I'll bend the um the right leg and stretch it and things like that. That comes in handy really really well because then you're getting a, that a bit of a side stretch. And then I switch over. These stretches, what I'm showing you right now, turns into 45 minutes for me, especially when I didn't stretch. I came up with this like literally like last week because i was like what can i do i ain't gonna move the stretch i'm tired so this is what you can do when you're tired and you're trying to do smudge so i'm gonna go in third position and plus it's like it's all about stretching all three of your hamstrings and stuff like that so but once i go into third position then my third position is when your when the heel of your foot is at the is in the middle of your left foot so it's pretty much when you go into first position, right? You at an angle, at a 45 degree angle, you're just gonna slide your foot in the center of the left or right foot, and you're just gonna touch the floor and things like that. Make sure you hang the head down so you won't lock it up or whatever. Man, listen, once I figure this out, that it's stretching all three of my hamstrings, and 
I don't necessarily have to fight with um, laying on my back and scratching it with the scratch band and stuff like that. Even though that's pretty easy with laying in the bed. If you watch my videos, you'll see that Cole really did. I'm just switching over to the next leg. You'll see that Cole pretty much did all three different hamstrings. Okay. So I'm just pretty much switching the other leg over. So now I'm on the right foot. And boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm bending and scratching it to warm it up a little bit just in case it, if y'all feel that sharp pain like I be feeling sometimes when I haven't stretched all day because I've been sitting down. You you know, you um, I keep on bending and scratching because you're not supposed to feel like an intense pain when you scratch and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm going to go into fifth position. Make sure um, fifth position. So when you're in third position, pretty much you just slide your feet from the middle of that left or right foot and putting your heel of the foot to the toe of whatever foot you have at an angle, okay? You wanna feel this, okay? So make sure you bend and straighten. And ballet, this is called plie, but I use, I'm not even gonna hold you, I use a lot of ballet techniques for my stretches when I don't, when, I, when I'm not in the mood because it's a quick one, two, and things like that. So this is what I do when I'm like, it's like, I'm off of work, I'm running like crazy, Stuff like that. I literally got out of the shower, like literally just right before I did this video, okay? So I may be a little bit ashy, but I'll be alright or whatever, okay? Whew. Make sure you breathe through these stretches, okay? That thing come in handy. And make sure you drink some protein. I really did drink my protein. If you can see in the back of my video, if you see in my video, I have my protein right there. So I drunk some protein. Usually I, I would have been in way more pain, but I have I really had found that. Um, having some protein and I because I love insurance anyways, it really had um it really had changed the trajectory of my stretches and it's way more effective and I feel way less pain and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you take that into consideration. You know, um you supposed to at least take your protein at least 30 minutes before, but in this case, shit I couldn't, okay? So I feel the pain, so I'm just pleading and stretching and stuff like that. Make sure when you bend you breathe in and then when you breathe when you come like when you straighten those knees make sure you breathe out so that you don't lock yourself up and things like that but yeah hopefully that came in handy for you guys i didn't want to keep y'all too long like i said i was ripping and running today so uh i had oh let me shake it out so you guys won't think you don't have to recover because you do have to recover from these things so you can pretty much just shake your legs just like that or you can pretty much just stand up <laughs> let me show y'all before we go um, and you just, hold on, damn, okay, you can pretty much rotate your hips like that and stuff like that. Or you can do it like this, whatever, you can do it with, uh, without the arms or with the arms or whatever. That's a good way to shake it out as well, too. You can shake it out like this as well, too, standing on one leg and shaking it out. But, oh, I'm out of breath, honey, I'm gonna need a snack out of this itch. I'm gonna go Maisha with Maisha Road to success, honey. And I'll see you in another, I'll see you in the next video, bitch.